Good morning, friends. We are currently in Utah's gorgeous Canyonlands National Park, and today we have a really fun adventure planned. We are attempting what is known for being the hardest hike in Canyonlands, which is the Syncline Loop Trail with several different offshoots. So the Syncline Loop itself offers plenty of challenging route finding and a lot of nice and spicy scrambling, but that's not the cool part. The awesome part about this route today is that it circumnavigates the entire upheaval dome, which is a massive crater that was formed by a meteor strike millions of years ago. The offshoots that we're taking today let us have insane views of the crater like the one right behind me. And once we get halfway through the loop, we'll have the option to hike into the crater itself. Should be an awesome day with plenty of incredible rock formations. Sunrise and the moon still up, Elise. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. That is quite a moon this morning. Full moon. You know what they say about when the full moon's out? What? It can make some people crazy. <laughs> Better watch out. Wait, that, that for you, you're crazy most of the time. What? So I think it's making you more sane. I think you're in quite a good mood today. <laughs> you think it's balancing you yeah. out? Adam's idea is that full moons balance out crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! Look at this! Yeah, this is cool. I feel like you're really enjoying this rim trail. How do you feel about giving up all this vertical so early in the hike? Man, it's like doing the Grand Canyon rim to rim. You're just like, why am I giving up all this vertical right now? I'm going to be so tired of that. That's exactly how I feel. It's so easy yeah. right now. It's just beautiful. We're going down into this canyon, but then you just know the end's going to be brutal. Still going down, Elise. It's a lot of down at the start. Breaking my spirit. <laughs> Okay, well, we reached the bottom of the canyon. This is pretty cool, Elise. You like it? Yeah, it's like this river canyon with just these kind of spectacular rock formations everywhere. Look at that one over there. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Are we gonna get to that one? I think so. You seem unimpressed by these river cliffs. I'm waiting for something a little bit more spectacular. Oh man, I love an overhanging. Well, I'll tell you what, that river cliff might just fall on your head. Then I'll show you what's That'd spectacular. That'd be pretty spectacular. <laughs> I would get stoked on that. It might hurt, but it would be cool. Okay, look guys, so we can do the out and back into the crater, which is definitely what we're doing, right? How can you not do that? You come all this way 
it's an extra one and a half miles in, probably one and a half out, so yeah, three miles. Extra three miles. But come on, you gotta go into the crater. I mean, we're here. Yeah, let's go. Now it looks like we're in another land. Yeah. Okay. Looks like a scramble now. Yeah. Whoa. And can you guys see all the crazy deformations in these rocks? Like, it looks like something super violent happened. <laughs> Something really violent? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that meteor just came and just kaboomed this whole space. Yeah. And so everything just got all twisted and weird. Aggressive. <laughs> this is a full scramble at this point. Yeah, definitely. What's going on, Lulu? What's up? <laughs> How do I get down? Well, you could slide on your butt, oh. or you could come down that driftwood from the last flood that I came down. Oh down the driftwood because this ain't happening. <laughs> I don't know. What if I just fell through this whole thing right well, now? Well, I was, yeah, I just used the wood for one step and then I got back on the rock. Well, aren't you just so talented? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. I can just see so many things going wrong right now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Is this the right way? You're definitely not. I, you're making it a lot harder than it used to be. <laughs> Please. Yeah. We have made it to the heart of the impact crater. You think we're in the heart of it? Yeah, look. Because look at it. You can see up all the cliffs around. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So, this, this. started this morning. Yeah, you can see way up there. And this is just where it kaboomed. Okay, okay, okay. But, how do you feel about the second theory of how this was formed? which is the salt dome that gradually eroded. Guys, there's actually two scientific theories, contrary to what Adam would have you believe about this place. I have no time for the salt dome theory. Okay, <laughs> number one, I find it kind of unbelievable this whole place was even underwater. We're like 6,000 feet. Mm -hmm. Supposedly this place was under the ocean, which I guess it was like 400 million years ago or something. Uh -huh. And a bunch of salt formed and I don't know what, then some salt dome rose up and cracked. And then it cracked, yeah. Look, this does not look like a crack. This looks like a kaboom. Says Adam, who is, by the way, not a geologist. <laughs> but I think that, didn't didn't something say that more recent evidence says it's probably the meteor? Yes, 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 more evidence. You guys, evidence. if you look at this rock, this stuff is, look how deformed it is. That's not because a salt dome cracked. <laughs> That's a big ass <laughs> meteor just vaporizing, just hitting it. I'm glad you're so confident. You should probably share these these attitudes with the scientific researchers. With the, with the here. geological community. Yeah. Let me tell you guys, this is what's what. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when you're here, yeah. you definitely feel that it was a meteor. Because you look up and around. Yeah. It just it just feels like that. It really does. Yeah. Snack? Snack. This is my first snack ever in an impact crater. Uh-huh. Or a salt dome that eroded. I mean, I'm not going to say I like it as much as a 3,000 foot dangle. Uh-huh. it's kind of fun looking up instead of looking down. Yeah, that's true. All right, that was a nice snack in the meteor crater. Now the hard part. We got to ascend back up to the rim along the gnarly slabs. Could be rough. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us, guys. Could get exciting. Are we sure we want to go this way? <laughs> I didn't want to go that way. You wanted to go that way. Why did I want to go this way? <laughs> you didn't like the scramble on the way out. Wait, but I feel like it's super muddy. Yeah, you're going to take a leap down into that mud? Maybe not a leap. <laughs> Maybe a... How will you do it? No. You do a graceful glide. Are you going to glide into the mud? Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's super muddy. But why are you going into the mud then? I don't know. Just because you didn't want to be the snow. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no, that was a mistake. I am not going that it way. It was a mistake. <laughs> oh, no. My shoes are ruined. No. I, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> I'm going up and over. Those muddy shoes aren't helping you on the slick rock. Oh. <laughs> my nemesis right now. Why does it make you laugh so hard? I don't I'm know. I don't know why you so wanted. To, I don't know why you wanted to take the mud route anyway. I didn't. I just thought it was my only option. I don't think there's 
Uh oh. I'm <laughs> oh my god. You need to relax. <laughs> I'm glad I can bring you so much joy. <laughs> well, you might be making fun of me for my mud on my boots, but what is up with your ensemble right now? Half of you looks like you're trying to go on a safari. Half of you looks like you're thinking that you're about to summit Everest. Are you referring to my heated gloves? What is up with those gloves? You know what? Here's what I have to say. I have Ray Node syndrome, so my hands freeze up really easy, especially when I have to take them out of the gloves to use the camera. And it might look hot out here because we're in the desert, but it was 32 degrees when we started. It's still kind of chilly. You're so soft. <laughs> So my soft. My hands are soft. You have soft hands. <laughs> Not in the like, ooh, these feel so soft kind of way. The other way. <laughs> There's no way that rocks look like that if there wasn't some serious violence. <laughs> look at that. Those things were all gnarled up. It was, it had to be just a <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did it do? It was a kaboom. <laughs> Back on the syncline loop. So the roof finding is definitely getting a lot trickier. Yeah, where do you think it goes? I I don't know. We're at the end of this beautiful canyon and now yeah. it's just everything's just uphill. I think we're going that way. Okay. Here's where the rubber meets the road. <laughs> We have reached the end of this lovely little canyon. Wait, now, who even uses that term anymore? I don't know. What does it even mean? I don't know, but that's your, you're obfuscating my point. What's your is, point? It's just all cliffs now. <laughs> all cliffs. There's no more trail, but I think we're going up this ultra steep scree field right here. Yeah. Um, maybe you can't tell from the camera how steep it is, but it does not look fun. It's looking pretty brutal. But that seems like the only way through. Ah, this route got cool. Really cool. <laughs> uh, almost too cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfect. This is neat. Yeah. This is not one of those where you want to slip. I'll tell you that. Well, don't do that then. You look like you know what you're doing. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, thank you. You never say that. <laughs> this is a slap. Yeah. We're getting there now, Elise. Oh my gosh. Aren't we? <laughs> I don't know, are we? I don't know. The last couple miles of a hike always feel really long, so especially when those miles are uphill. We have arrived. Oh my gosh. Well, those last few miles were, felt kind of long. It felt pretty long. <laughs> I would not say it's Canyonland's hardest hike. I really think the one we did over in the Needles. I thought that was harder. Yeah. Right? Chesler yeah. Park. Druid Arch, the joint. Yeah, that was about 17 miles. This mm -hmm. one's about 13 with all the extra stuff that we did. Um, so pretty cool. But it was really cool, and it was cool to be in the impact crater. Yeah, we were, wait, we were right down there. That's so cool. Yeah, that was neat. Yeah. If you love rocks, this is definitely a good hike for you. <laughs> Especially big exploding rocks that come from the sky. Because it's 100% a meteor crater, right? Elise is still advocating for the salt dome theory. <laughs> well, I'm a scientist. I'm just like, we have to consider all perspectives. It's not proven until we have all of the data, okay? I want to know what you guys think, both about <laughs> whether this was a meteor or some kind of salt dome. Mm -hmm. And I hope you like the hike. Hope you loved it. We'll see y'all next time. See you guys next time on the trail. <laughs>